This is Paul Brerin from Tinkertry.com having a look at Eero and Luma today. Now, the similarities between the packaging, it's a little hard to overlook that, but I spent a few days, well, three days with the Eero here. And that means I've already unboxed that. I did that off camera, regrettably, but basically you take out your three arrows and it was a nicely laid out power supply in the middle, cable around the side, indicating let's take out this one first and hook it up to your cable modem. That's the idea behind that kit. Now the good news is, despite not having that unboxing, I do have a fourth arrow. So let's have a look with that at that first. And uh, we'll see what the new out-of-box experience looks like, or at least one-third of it, I could say. All right, once we get the shrink wrap off, simply slide out the side. Very well done packaging. Premium feel, foam in the top. Just quite lovely. Let's open that up. it is. With a nice close look. Not a whole lot to look at as far as details because uh, they even eliminated LEDs in the back so it's an ultra simple design. Doesn't matter which hole you use. One can go to the cable and the next one can go to a PC next to it if you want. And then you got power here of course and a reset pin which I have played with a little bit. So the inside of the box, as I mentioned earlier, has the power supply that I'm about to go ahead and use. And it's got lightning cable styled retainers on the cardboard there. Very gooey and strong, a goo that doesn't leave residue in your cable, so. Again, nice attention to detail there from Eero, getting the packaging done just right. 18 watts. I want to do some measurements on the actual watt burn there. I'm not actually going to be using this white cable at the time, but very Apple-esque. Hard to ignore that. But it would look decent on a counter table that it matches the, the white. If white cables on a, you know, countertop are your thing. So that thing is ready to deploy. So that's it for the unboxing of the Eero. Now, Luma. It's not in plastic. Uh, there's more on the box to read here, so here's Eero. Here's Luma. And I think it's time to get this thing open. Now we have a bit of a tamper seal here, so let's take care of that. Very nice packaging, again, in every way. It's a good experience. All right, cool. Bucks are even smaller, slightly. But of course, uh, again, clearly they're squarely going against one another. Now these, are intended to stand up, obviously. Let's have a look at that. Oh, well, that was a little sloppy. So it has a rubber foot, there's no leg, and yeah, it's probably a little on the tippy side. 
Again, doing things on camera while looking at the camera, not looking at what I'm doing, doesn't really help. But yeah, I would say they're a bit tippy. So cables and the tension of the cables and all, that's gonna be kind of important when I place it somewhere in my house. So it looks decent. Okay, once you download the app, it's gonna guide me through the setup. There's another pull tab down here for me to pull off. And now we have all the components inside. Three power adapters and a very thin network cable. I like that. That's appealing to me because, well, it's not going to exert force on this as I try to stand it up. It's not going to make it, you know, tippier. Let's have a look at a power supply. I'll go ahead and go to number one to be consistent here. Here it's saying 12 volts, 1.5 amps. So about 18 again for watts probably. Time for a quick comparison of the power use for each product. So I've launched the Eero app and I'm on the getting started screen. Unplug your existing modem and router which is true in my house. Again, I'm plugged straight into the cable modem here. And again, that's the recommended config for both. Later on, I'm going to be doing something called double NAT and putting the Euro and Lumen bridge mode, but that's for another video. This is your basic setup, straight to a cable modem for both devices, with only a switch between them, because my cable modem allows multiple devices, three devices, to be hooked up at once. All right, so it's giving me a nice warning. It's saying, go ahead and connect my ear. Now notice I'm on Verizon LTE. So how is it going to connect? Well, you'll see. Plug in the ear. We did that. I'm not seeing any light because I got the camera on too bright there for you. Now hopefully you can see a little better that it's actually blinking blue. So next. Setting up your Eero, it's starting up. Wait for the Eero to blink blue, which it's already doing. So again, on my phone, I turned off the Wi-Fi radio before even starting. So it's now looking for the Eero. Found it. And we'll pick a room now. Okay, it's continuing with the setup process. If I get that in a shadow again, you'll see the light better. It's a very dim light. I think it's trying to be, you know, bedroom friendly. I'd say the Loma is quite a bit brighter for sure. Okay, it's registering my arrow. Boom, it's set up. Now I'll point out the way it's communicating, I was told by support, it really is Bluetooth to get going, right? Because I'm on Verizon, there's no cloud yet. I do have an account and it's found the internet, so it could talk through the cloud. But for the initial setup and finding devices in your house, again, I was told by Eero, it's just Bluetooth. All right, so now i got to create a network. Um, You're going to obviously want a much better password than password. Okay, it's creating a network. Boy, I won't be leaving this network up very long. So I'm going to have a Wi-Fi network called Eero and another called Luma. Success. Network is now up and running. Hit next. Add another. Now I'm all set. So this video is not going to focus on adding multiples. It's just going to have one. So it's not really a mesh test. It's with a single device right next to the phone. We'll see how the speed performs. Okay, now it's warning me about automatic updates. Now it's actually had my Eero for a few days, so it has the latest code level. I'm all done. Let's have a look at the Eero app. So you'll see it's actually running a speed test based on speedtest.net people, I believe, or Ookla. And you can swipe the screen down a little bit and hit refresh, but it'll do an automatic speed test every day anyway. 
So there's nothing else on the network other than our Luma, which is, you know, not using any bandwidth right now. It's just sitting there. So we should get a nice speed reading. And of course, the ridiculously close proximity of like 18 inches should give us pretty much optimal conditions. The only gotcha being I've got this guy plugged in and I probably shouldn't. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. Would have been better if I had unplugged that a little earlier to avoid having any other Wi-Fi going in the house. Okay, so we got, we got good speeds there. The thing is, I don't find them to be all that accurate. So I tend to use this HTML5 browser interface that works anywhere. Phones, Safari, um, Android, desktop PCs, no Adobe Flash, no big splashy ads, and we get a quick idea of the speed. So we've got a common tool I can use for both devices, which should be pretty handy. Okay, for some reason, we are not doing well with this speed test. And uh, could be because I'm on Verizon LTE. So I made a mistake. Notice I didn't connect to my Eero's new network yet. So it's a rather important step I forgot there, I would say. So let's get Wi Fi connected. Join the network. Wait for it to stop spinning or pinwheeling, whatever you like to call that. Okay, it's got an address here. Just it's factory defaults. Now let's go back and do this test. I'll hold it with one hand, trying to reduce the chance of my hand doing something with the Wi-Fi antenna. Obviously we have full signal strength on the Wi-Fi and we're getting a rather splendid speed that's faster than my three-year-old Linksys uh, router. I tried Asus, I tried Netgear back then too. They were all similar in speeds, 802.11ac. I've been on for I think almost three years. But uh, these speeds are good. And what's nice is uh, having had Eero for three days, I'm getting these speeds on multiple floors in my house, which was never possible before. It was always slower when I had to go through some sheetrock and walls. All right, so we have a good test and a good sense of what the Eero can do. And it's almost finished. So for your testing, again, you probably bought one of these or the other. You're not going to go hooking up multiple stuff to your cable modem. But I did so I could get this done in one quick lunch break and get back to work. All right, so now we got a Luma. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi again in my home. And let's fire up the Luma app. Welcome to Luma. Create an account. Okay, welcome to Luma. How many Lumas do you plan to set up? Well, again, on the uh, Eero app, I didn't really show you all the functions. I was just focused on getting one set up. So I'm going to set up one Luma to compare apples to apples. Okay, what type of home do you have? Single family? Or in a basement? All right. A nice little pictures. Right now I'm in the basement actually. Where's your modem? Oh, this is interesting. 
in the corner of the house. Let's hope we get a good contrast and good video for you here. Connect the Luma to the modem. Yep, did that already. Collect Luma to power. Yep, did that too. Okay, restart your modem. Do I need to do that? No, as I already did right before this video. Again, basement's not a great place for a device, but again, we're only testing one. Luma starting up. The light ring spins blue. So whether this is using Bluetooth or not, I'm not sure. I suppose I could have turned off the Bluetooth radio and seen if this worked or not. Luma's ring should be solid blue. Press the start Wi-Fi button below to activate this Luma. Congrats. So both products are ridiculously easy to install, which is kind of awesome.